much and thank the orchestra. And we're so proud that you made it off the Titanic. <laughs> What their Medicare is costing us is unbelievable. Isn't it? <laughs> Good evening, and how nice it is for me to be back here at the New York Alumni, the city of Los Angeles, for sweeping the St. Louis Cardinals in the first yeah. playoff. <laughs> and the Angels are doing well. You could have the, the first Route 405 World Series in history. <laughs> And what a great road that'll be if that ever comes to pass. You'll start out on Tisha B'Av to get there. <laughs> Speaking of which, what a thrill it is to be at Beverly Hills High School on Simchas Torah. <laughs> I saw Iranian Jews waving flags today. I had no idea. I tell you, I get a little cranky now. I really do. For example, eight, nine, ten years ago, my wife came to me and said, Freddie, I need a new car. I don't want a fancy car. I just want a car. I, I, I saw this car in the paper. Get me this car, please. It's called the Kia. Do you know it? Stick <laughs> Dreck. <laughs> there are Jews here? <laughs> she got on the New Jersey Turnpike last week behind a truck with a magnet, she called me from Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> That's how the car gets 84 miles to the gallon. You put four locks on your door at home, here's where you're nuts. Somebody knocks on the door, you say, who is it? He says, it's me. You open the door. <laughs> Not my wife. I flew home from Los Angeles eight weeks ago on the red eye, the all night flight. I got to Fort Lee, New Jersey at 6.30 in the morning. I knocked on the door. She said, who is it? I said, honey, it's your husband. I'm home. She said, I'm not going to open this door until you tell me something that only my husband would know. <laughs> I said, all right, we have two children. Alan is 47, 26 years ago. He graduated from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. Judy's 43, graduated from Brandeis University, Boston University Law School. And they are bright, adorable, terrific, delicious, gorgeous, wonderful, exciting kids. She said, the whole neighborhood knows that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we have a little dog named Peppy, 18 years old, just qualified for Meals on Wheels. <laughs> she said, the whole neighborhood knows that. I said, you have a mole on your ass. If the neighborhood knows that, don't bother to open the door. <laughs> she opened the door. <laughs> Every word I talk about my two children is the truth. My Judy went to Brandeis University and Waltham U Massachusetts, a great university, a very Jewish university, Brandeis. I will tell you how Jewish. At her graduation, her diploma came on two long wooden poles. <laughs> her junior year at Brandeis, my Judy went to study in London, England for six months, as did most of us. <laughs> She went because Queen Elizabeth said, Freddie, I, I must have your Judy for six months. I said, why? She's having so much trouble with Sarah Ferguson. Your Judy could straighten it out. You see, Sarah's only been a princess 12 years. <laughs> My son, what can I tell you? The pride of a father for a son. 26 years ago, May 23rd, my I'll never forget that day. My wife and I were in the Civic Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to watch him culminate four magnificent years at the Wharton School at Penn. Graduated with a 3.86 cumulative score. Unbelievable. He took part in every extracurricular activity. He graduated May 23rd with the highest of honors. More importantly, on May 24th, 
he got a job. <laughs> and when I tell you what this brilliant young man did for the first eight years he was out of college, you're gonna pass out. He shoveled horse manure at the Meadowlands racetrack. <laughs> Do you know the pride of a father? When someone says, what is your son doing? And you lie and say, he's leaning towards veterinary medicine. <laughs> but 18 years ago, Alan came to me and said, Daddy, I'm quitting the track. I said, Alan, don't do it for me, I was happy. Alan, I was happy that you were happy. What father wouldn't be happy if a son was happy? You were happy, I was happy. Your mother wasn't that happy. <laughs> but I got her out of the oven in time. Jeez. So tell me, Alan, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? He said, Daddy, I don't know. I said, Alan, your school cost me over $80,000. You have to know something. <laughs> Isn't there anything you like? He said, yes, Dad, philosophy. I said, there's a big market for that. <laughs> Especially now that Plato is gone. <laughs> so now, Alan, here's what we're gonna do, Alan. We're gonna go to a mall. I'm gonna rent an empty store. We're gonna open a philosophy store. You'll come in in the morning, you'll go, whatever will be, will be. He said, Daddy, don't make fun of me and don't be sarcastic, Daddy. Daddy, I love you and I respect you, Daddy, and all I want from you, Daddy, is to love me and respect me, Daddy. But Daddy, Daddy, think about it, Daddy. Times are different today, Daddy. Daddy, yes, it's not when you were a kid, you, you, you had to go out and get a job, Daddy. But Daddy, I have a Daddy. And Daddy, Daddy, I want to find myself. I said, Alan, I know where you are. <laughs> you have 30 days to find yourself. If you don't find yourself, get lost. <laughs> <laughs> and both my children have found themselves. Alan quit the racetrack 18 years ago, went back to his first love, writing comedy for television. He's had a brilliant 18 year career here in Los Angeles. He was the executive producer of shows like Coach on ABC, his own series, Yes, Dear, on CBS. This year, uh, uh, Jenna Elfman's new series on CBS, Accidentally on Purpose. You will see producer Alan Kirschenbaum. See, when I went into show business, my, my whole family changed their name to Kirschenbaum. <laughs> Alan's married to a lovely lady named Vicky, and they've given us a beautiful 11-year-old granddaughter named Molly, who one day in the not-too-distant future you will see on this show, or I won't be back again. <laughs> 18 years ago, my daughter Judy met and married the most wonderful young man. A lot of comedians pick on a son-in-law. I could never do that. Mine is a gem. He comes from Africa. His name is Mobutu. <laughs> and when I heard that, I, I said to Judy, I, I told you a rich doctor. <laughs> Much of that is true. My son-in-law was born in Johannesburg, South Africa. He is a doctor, and most importantly, I found out, Mobutu, in South African, means Levine. <laughs> <laughs> and they've given us three beautiful grandchildren, Michael, Madeline, and Andrew, and you have been a delicious audience. Thank you so very, very much. <laughs>